Thank you. Okay, we've come to New York to film Simple Minds, who are over here for a couple of days, uh, playing just around the corner a bit later on. I'd say they're over a couple of days, so I'm not really going to talk about New York, because you're based where? Yeah, we're actually a Scottish band. Yeah. Uh, we're based in Glasgow. Uh, but, you know, the, the record company is through in Edinburgh. But, uh, so you know, Zoom, yeah, but we, we actually, you know, are based in Glasgow. How did Zoom and you link up together? Well, um, we'd, uh, we just played about uh, Glasgow and we took our tapes through to Bruce Finlay because there aren't a lot of people you can see in Scotland and if anyone can do anything for a band up and come and be at, be at gigs or uh, even, you know, a deal, Bruce is the man to see if he can't help um, himself. He, he's good with advice and most bands do. Go and see him. Is it very self-contained in Scotland, Derek? I mean, are there places, many places to play up there? Not really. Mainly universities and stuff. No marquees or anything like that. Right. You haven't got a circuit of clubs that you can... No, it's not really... Been... In Glasgow, there seems to be sort of two sizes of halls. It's like um, you've one hall, a hall, which is like 3,000 people and things like that, and then the other scale is like small pubs, and there's no sort of in between venue. And any any venues there are is like university gigs, but then there's a restriction on the public, you know, getting through these yeah. university gigs. So it's pretty tight. But in Edinburgh, it's quite a good scene for pubs and things like that. Right. It's quite good. It's got a lot of sort of facilities and things for bands. Because we're just on the threshold, really, aren't we, of the release of the second album? Yeah. yeah. Which you were saying earlier is a change, in some respects, yeah. from the first one. Yeah, we've changed direction, really, because we found that our first sound was a little too full, and, you know, we sort of, now it's a lot more basic, and it's, uh, it's, it's basically, you know, it sounds a lot more simple minds now than ever it did, <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're beginning to feel now that we're gradually becoming mature from our at attitudes and things. How much are you getting involved in your own production now? Um, we are beginning to get um, more in touch with what's happening in, in the studio. First time round it was like, you know, was all these knobs and dials and it was a bit... I think we were a bit um, overawed by it all. But now we're beginning to get to grips with the, with the sound we want to get over. And the same guy did the second album as who did the first, John Lecky. And he's been been very good understanding. Is there any kind of crossover at the moment between you and Gary Newman? Have you worked together at all recently? Friends, mm. yeah. yeah. Um, we find that most bands uh, who have uh, added keyboards on it uh, tend to have uh, you know, sympathy for each other. We, we're obviously you know, glad of Newman's success because um, it's a lot easier for us now to get airplay and things yeah. like that. Um, yeah, we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, have a good gig tonight. Yeah, thank Looking you. Thanks. Yeah. And thank thanks you. for talking to us. Okay, thank, thank you. you. This is a new song called Factory. <laughs> 